It's no secret that the roofs of caravans are not always very strong. So much so that if you want to fit an air conditioning unit on the top, not possible. Or maybe heavy solar panels. Or then there's the possibility you want to fit one of those sophisticated self-seeking satellite systems. All this changed when this van was introduced in 2006. This is a Bailey Pageant Champagne and it's the 2006 model. That is significant because 2006 was when Bailey produced roofs that were different in construction from anything that they'd done before. In fact, the roof was built really much like the bonded sides and the bonded floor. It's so strong that in point of fact they publicised it by putting their directors on the top and on the top they said, hey, isn't this strong? It is. But let's get back down to earth. Tell me something, why is it that flies always end their days stuck across the front part of a caravan? It's such a business that uh, I wrote in the magazines years ago, why can't you stand on the A-frame fairings of a British built caravan? And I got a call from Bailey who said, John, wait till you see the 2003 model. And they produced a fairing that yes, you can stand on and clean the flies off. It's funny that it took some of the other manufacturers a further six or seven years before they got in on the act and copied the idea. Now at this point you might be saying, oh golly, it's uh, how wonderful Bailey is, tick, 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 yes. But I'm going to bring the sharp wiki tongue out now and say the only thing I'm uneasy about is this whole big front panel is ABS plastic as opposed to GRP fiberglass. So if supposingly you just got too close to the branch of a tree and made a small crack at one side, do you know what? They very, very seldom do a patch repair on that split like they do on fiberglass. What do they do? They change the whole front. And it's exactly the same on the back panel. Oh, look, you'll notice that it's a twin plug system. If you've got a car fitted out with a tow bar and a single socket with 13 pins, no problem, because you can get adapters that couple up with these. What about this? This is the AKS 3000, not as sleek as the latest ones, but between you and me, this is far, far better in one respect. The security button on the front, which goes green when you've actually coupled up correctly to the tow ball, is far more conspicuous on this model. Well, let's go inside and have a look there. Oh, I can see straight away a central kitchen. Always makes sense, you know, because this, this is where all the weight is, the heavy items, and they're here right across the axle. Kicking off with the sink. Yeah, it's rather nice because it, it's coloured, it's actually enamel. Don't chip it though, whatever you do. Have a look at this recessed draining section. It means that the water stays here and doesn't just discharge over the top. Looking at the hob, matching glass, matching ceramic again, semi-enamel, and four burners. But in reality, on a modern van, you might sometimes get a hot plate running on electricity. Frankly, that doesn't matter to me. The fridge, this one's a Norcold, and it's badged as Thetford. Not so sure about the spin-flow oven. I like the facilities. I'm just not too easy, you know, about this colour. Am I just being a bit silly about that? The water is heated in a Truma storage heater, which is situated just under one of the seats by the small side table. It's intriguing, of course, that these are separate, and in some of the latest caravans now, they embrace the two heating systems, space and water, using one of Truma's combination heaters. That's fine, but you don't have to have that. Separate is good as well. Well, my first reaction in going into the washroom is that it's pretty big. There's a lot here. And the shower, well, now that's something else, because not only is there an enclosure, there are two enclosures joined together. Partly the one for the shower itself, and then a drying off zone. Do you know, I like this. I'm going to give it a try, I think. Moving to the front of this Bailey pageant. It's just a normal layout. It's not so different. Good long seats, but seats that are long enough and comfortable enough for two big adult single beds. Still, you might want a double bed. It's a case of pull that out, fairly simple. Use the seat backs. You can sleep across it, tickety-boo. There are two more beds, of course, and they are in the unit opposite the kitchen. I don't think it would be so good for adults as for children. 
So how does this eight-year-old Bailey pageant champagne compare with Bailey's latest mid-range models? Well, I've given you lots of fours and against, and I mentioned that really sturdy roof. This has a lot of good points in its favor. It comes out at around half the price of the latest equivalent. So I guess it's really just down to the money.